Welcome to my views and news, some new stories for you, four new stories. First one is from RC viewers. In RC, we know that uh, uh, several people were killed in religious uh, conflict uh, a few months ago at the start of this year. Uh, and today in RC, in Shashamane, reportedly a rally was taken out in support of appointee bishops who were appointed by a splinter faction, but uh, the main church had rejected that uh, appointment. Second new story is, about, is from Gondar. South Gondar, from where uh, Amhara state media, Ethiopian state media have shared some pictures claiming that uh, Amhara special force members are returning to their camps. Uh, they fled the camps, uh, but now they are returning. It is being claimed by some new sources. And thirdly, viewers, North Shoa zone of the Amhara region where uh, reportedly, uh, talks are underway between Fano and Ethiopian army. Firstly, words, is Lidato Ayaleo changing his position? Uh, around 48 hours ago, he released a statement saying that he was going to return to Ethiopia to fight, to launch uh, a peaceful struggle for his people against a government which was uh, uh, arresting innocent people and it was the responsibility of all Ethiopians uh, to rise uh, for uh, uh, a legal peaceful struggle. He was interviewed by a new source today and he's, he changed his position it seems. Today he said that uh, he would return to Ethiopia if charges were filed against him. Uh, we know that a few days ago, Ethiopian Joint Security Task Force named some individuals, including Lidato uh, Ayalio. The government claimed that these uh, people were involved in plotting a toppling of the government. Lidato Ayalio, Ethio 360 journalists, Meskram Abira, Vadumadosan uh, Asifa, and others were charged. Uh, or uh, at least uh, to the extent of statement, they were charged. So far, it seems that uh, official charges, formal charges have not been submitted at a court against Lidato Ayalu. Ayalu said in his talk today that uh, he uh, contacted his lawyers. His lawyers said that so far no formal charges uh, had been filed against him. He said he would return to Ethiopia when charges uh, are filed against him by the government. So, now he is linking his return to Ethiopia to the filing of charges by the government. If government did not file any charges, would he return? Uh, because he was returning for his people. He was saying that uh, innocent people uh, were being imprisoned. Uh, uh, or will he keep on receiving medical treatment, which he uh, mentioned today that he was suffering from a medical condition, health condition. So it seems that if uh, formal charges are not filed against Lito Ayalio by the government, he might not return to Ethiopia uh, for uh, some time, maybe after a few months he, 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 he will return. But so far it seems that he is changing his position a little. Secondly, viewers, uh, Shashamane West RC, where several Orthodox followers were killed after security forces opened fire weeks ago when there was a confrontation between two factions of the Orthodox Church, main faction, main church, led by Abu Nematias, and uh, a splinter faction emerged in Romia. The splinter faction took control of a church in Shashamane. Uh, government forces uh, backed uh, the submitter faction, Romia government forces, and that led to start of conflict at, at a church in Shashamane, uh, in which uh, several were killed. In Shashamane today, uh, people, uh, some supporters of the supplanter faction took out a rally. 
so, so they asked the church authorities uh, to approve the appointments of bishops. The appointments of 26 bishops were the main uh, uh, dispute between the church factions in Romia and main uh, church uh, weeks ago. It seems that the Romia region based uh, bishops are still uh, adamant that their appointments must be respected by the church. And today church held a meeting, we know that uh, Holy Synod held a meeting today, uh, but uh, no uh, decision, uh, I could not see any decision about the uh, appointments uh, of the churches. But today's rally uh, in support of appointee bishops not approved, whose appointment was not approved by the main church indicates that split is still there. The Romia region based group is not backing down. Secondly, we would uh, Majate, where North Shore Zone of the Amhara region, where uh, reportedly government forces are trying to involve elders to talk to Fano fighters. Jayate is in Shoa, North Shoa. In North Shoa, we have, we have been seeing clashes between Fano fighters and Ethiopian uh, army uh, near Alala, Shiva Robit. There were clashes, I reported two days ago, near Atai as well, near Majate too. And uh, uh, Ethiopian army is trying to avoid confrontation with people. Uh, it is involving locals, local elders. And reportedly, uh, a team of elders was contacted by Ethiopian army to go to fighters, uh, uh, Fano fighters near Majate. So efforts are underway for a peaceful uh, solution. Uh, security forces want uh, Fano fighters to be disarmed in North Shore. But so far, no success. Fano fighters have not agreed to be disarmed reportedly. But mediation is underway by locals in Majate and near Majate reportedly. Lastly, viewers, uh, Amhara Special Force members are being disarmed and uh, Amhara Special Force has been disbanded by the Amhara Regional Government, Ethiopian Federal Government. All regional special forces have been disbanded. Hundreds of members of Amhara Special Force refused to comply with instructions of disarmament. They fled their camps. Uh, some joined uh, Fano uh, militia reportedly. Now state media, Amhara region, uh, regional media is, is sharing pictures, videos from South Gondar where reportedly uh, dozens of Amhara special force members, they have returned to the camps. So they are ready to be disarmed. Uh, they are ready to be integrated into regional police or federal forces. Uh, Amhara regional government or Ethiopian federal government, they have not shared any data so far. How many Amhara special force members have returned to their camps? How many are still missing? How many are with their families? How many have joined FANO? No data shared. This is the second time that regional media is sharing pictures of some special force members who have returned to the special force, but no details. Uh, Girma Ishitila, the assassinated PP leader, had said that around 30% of the total Amhara Special Force uh, personnel had fled and, and they, had, they did not report at the camps. But what is the number, not percentage? So no PP leader, no government official is sharing details of how many are still missing and where are they? Today, uh, state media said that these uh, returnees actually were with their families and now they are uh, obeying the call by the government to, uh, for, for, for the special members to return to camps. There are others. How many are still missing? How many are with the Fano? No details shared by the government so far. Thank you for watching.